name is Dr. Feather. This is my intern, Lara. Hello. She has come here all the way from England to study. Um, if it's all right with you, I'm going to have her help with uh, the assessment in the early part of the exam. She's just going to ask you some questions. It'll help me evaluate your health and it'll help me evaluate Lara's progress. Is that okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, before we get started with that, I just want to verify you're here for an ear exam, correct? Okay. And the associate that was in here before took all of your information. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to let Lara ask you some questions. Um, she's going to enter her answers into our new computer system, and then she's going to leave. Okay? And I'm just going to supervise. All right. Lara? Um, okay. When was the last time you had an air exam? Have you been experiencing any issues or difficulties with your hearing? Do you have a family history of ear difficulties? Do you listen to loud music? Do you have a personal history with ear infections? Have you been experiencing dizziness? Nausea? Vomiting? On a scale from 1 to 10, how would you currently rate your hearing, with 10 being the best? Are you currently on any medication? Do you have any allergies? Is there anything you'd like to bring to the doctor's attention? Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, all right. Thank you, Lara. That was excellent. And so, Lara's going to go, and we are going to continue with the exam. begin with your ear exam, I just want to do a very quick assessment of your general health while you're here, just to make sure you're doing okay. All right? So, you want to have a listen to your lungs. Again, big breath in and out. Okay, one more time. Very good. All right, I just want to have a listen to your heartbeat. Very good. Right. Now, I want you to open your mouth. 
I'm not going to trigger your gag reflex. I just want to have a look. Open. Wider. Don't be scared. Quick look in your eyes. When was the last time you had an eye appointment? Okay. Follow the light with your eyes, keeping your head still. following it. Okay, great. Okay. Let me show you what I'm going to be doing today. I have this little chart. I'm going to take you back to seventh grade science class. This is a picture of the human ear. At the top is that little fold. If you want to, you can feel with your own fingers. That little fold is called the helix. On the inside of your ear, there's a ridge, and that ridge is called the anti-helix. Over here, where your face connects to your ear, is a harder part of your ear, and that's called the tragus. Opposite that is another hard part, and that's the anti-tragus. The soft, fleshy part where people get their ears pierced, in general, is the lobule. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be manhandling all of these parts today. I'm going to be pulling them, and twisting them, and, but none of it's going to cause you any pain. It's just going to help me get a better line of vision into your ear canal. All right? Okay. on some gloves and then we can get started. Let's have a look at your ears. I'm going to come around your side. I'm going to be using an otoscope, which basically is a light. It is attached to a tube that has a very powerful magnifying glass at the end of it. I have a little speculum that snaps on and that will go inside your ear canal. It lights up. like skin cancers. Homodomas. We check behind your ear at the mastoid area. I'm looking at the position size of your ears. Looking at the symmetry. Checking to see if there's any 
discharge or swelling or redness. Okay. So what I'm going to do is pull the oracle up and back if you are a child. Three and under, I would be pulling it down. But we're going to pull it up and back, and I'm going to stick the scope in your ear. Let me know if it feels uncomfortable. I'm just going to have a peek. Okay, stay still. I'm trying to have a look at your tympanic membrane, and that's just a fancy word for your eardrum. Um, however, you have quite a bit of cerumen in your ear canal. Uh, cerumen is another word for earwax, and I cannot assess the state of your tympanic membrane if I can't see it. Uh, so, I'm going to need to clean some of that out. I should warn you that it can be uncomfortable and sometimes painful. I will do my best to negate and minimize any discomfort that you might feel. I'll be very gentle. But I do need to clean this out. If we leave it in, your sermon can become impacted on your tympanic membrane, and that can cause hearing loss. Okay, let me check the other side to see if I'm going to need to do the same thing. Okay. Okay, let me see. I'm pulling the oracle up and back. Open. Let there be light. Okay. Yes. You also have lots of cerumen in your right ear canal as well. I'm going to need to remove it. Your eardrum. I promise I will do my best so that you don't feel anything but better after this. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a suction. And it's just a little tube that is going to pull all the ceramine that I can out of your ear canal. And then I'm going to use alligator forceps and pull the rest out. There are uh, different methods that other doctors use to remove excess ceramine, but uh, we're going to go with this route today. Okay, so all you need to do is sit still. I want you to keep me informed as to what you're feeling. Don't be afraid to tell me if you're in pain or anything like that. Okay? Okay, here we go. So I have here some alligator forceps. I'm going to use them to 
clean out the rest of your ear. I'm going to do my best so that I don't damage the delicate skin in your ear canal. Alright? Some people just produce extra earwax and have to have their ears cleaned out regularly. Ceramin is just a waxy oil like substance that is produced by hair follicles and your glands it protects your ear from dirt and dust and all kinds of stray particles water infection It's actually very beneficial for your ear canal, but the most common reason for hearing loss is a cerumen blockage of the tympanic membrane. How are you doing? I know the forceps might be a little bit loud, but it's coming out pretty easily being very careful not to pull away any skin with the earwax. I'm just grasping and removing. Another look with the otoscope now. Okay, that's much better. I'm just going to assess your tympanic membrane now. Noting the color and the contour. Good. Very good. Let's clean out the other side now. Okay. Going in with the suction again. Just going to pull out everything I can. Might sound a little loud. You let me know if anything hurts. Okay. Here we go. Let me have a look. Uh, it's the 
still some to clean out. So, get my little alligator forceps. Here we go. Produces it. in your ear canal is very delicate, so sounds like I'm doing a lot, but I'm actually being very tedious and meticulous with trying to grasp these little pieces and pull them out. Only job. Sometimes I'll use a curette to scrape out the earwax from the canal, but um, I'm afraid if I do that with your ear canal, it will cause damage to the skin. Uh, your skin is very dry, and I don't want to create any little lesions inside the ear canal. Going in at the otoscope again. Oracle goes up and back. Speculum goes inside your ear canal. Oh, let me see. Okay. Looks very healthy. Noting the contour and the color and the position. Much better. Was that so bad? Okay. You're very patient. Just want to quickly lock that. to assess the mobility of your tympanic membrane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 
small puffs of air into your ear while I'm looking at your tympanic membrane, okay? It shouldn't hurt. It'll just feel like someone's blowing in your ear, okay? Okay? It shouldn't hurt. to the other side. Okay. Let me have a look. And here comes the air. So now we're going to get started on the hearing tests. This should be pretty fun for you. The first test we're going to do is called the Weber test. The Weber test involves this tuning fork. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place this tuning fork right in the center of your forehead. I'm going to hit it, and I want you to tell me if it sounds the same in both of your ears, or if it sounds different, uneven, anything like that. Okay, now we're going to do the Rinna test. So I'm going to come around your sides, I'm going to put the tuning fork behind your ears on your mastoid tip, which is the hard part behind your ear. And I'm going to see if you can hear it there, too. Okay? Can you hear that? Can you hear it now? Does it sound louder, softer, or the same? Other side. Can you hear that? Can you hear it now? Does it sound louder, softer, or the same? to do a tone test. So, I'm going to get some very special, very large headphones. Put them make sure they're snug in your ears. Good. Feels comfortable? Okay, are you comfortable in general? No. Take a moment. Get situated. Don't worry about the wax paper. You know, if we tear it off right afterwards, you can crumple it and wrinkle it as much as you need to. Just get comfortable. going to do is I'm going to press a button and you're going to hear some tones at different hertz levels in your ears. 
When you hear a tone, I want you to raise the corresponding hand of the ear that you hear it in. Okay, so if you hear it in your left ear, your left hand goes up. Okay, I'm just going to log the results as you're going through it. Feel okay? Do you have any pain or discomfort from before? Okay, good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get very close to you. I apologize if this makes you uncomfortable, but it's necessary. I'm going to place my hand on top of an ear where your tracheus is, and I'm going to push the tracheus in. I'm going to whisper words into the opposite ear. When you hear a word, I want you to repeat the word that you hear. All right? Okay. Candy. Comet. Digest. Other side. Artist. Lucky. Apple. Nickel. Bacon. Pancake. Good. Next, I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to rub them together next to one of your ears. I want you to tell me when you stop hearing the sound. All right? Other side. Okay, good. Okay, 
So let's have a talk. Since you seem to produce quite a bit of serum on your own, and that's fine. A lot of people do. Throw these out. Alright. Q-tips. Keep them out of your ears. No one should be sticking Q-tips in their ears. And you'll, you won't see it on the box anywhere. That Q-tip recommends you do that either. Keep them out. Uh, a normal person, what a Q-tip will do is push. Let me see if I have one to show you. This is one that we use with our cranial nerve exam, but it'll do the trick. So the Q-tip is a marvelous shape. It fits right into your ear canal where it pushes the cerumen or earwax into the canal further. And even though when you take it out of your ear, it looks like you've cleaned your ear because there'll be some kind of orange or brown residue on the white cotton, what you've really done is press the cerumen in your ear further in. And the more you do that, over persistent use, the more likely the earwax can become impacted upon your tympanic membrane, your eardrum. And that can cause temporary or permanent hearing loss, depending on how much it becomes impacted upon that membrane. That membrane is very delicate, and if you get a lot of that cerumen stuck to it, can be very painful to remove um, in some cases nearly impossible so don't take that risk especially because your body seems to produce more than the average person's which is fine lots of people produce more than usual it doesn't mean anything bad and if you keep q-tips out of your ears I can clean your ears out regularly and it won't be a problem I would like you to Make an appointment at the desk before you leave for, mm, let's say, four months from now. And you can come in, and I can take a look inside your ears again. And if I see that you need more cleaning, I'll just do what I did today. That wasn't bad, right? With the suction and the alligator forceps. Clean it out, and your ears will be in tip-top shape. All right? No worries. Do you have any questions? Okay, so make sure you see the associates at the desk and have a pleasant evening. I will see you in a couple months, all right? Don't forget. Okay, so I'm going to go. You can gather your belongings and follow whenever you're ready, okay? All right, have a great night.